Hi, my name is Ken Granderson, and I'm uh, co-founder and CTO of BlackFacts.com. Can you tell me about the mission of BlackFacts.com? Wow. <laughs> um, the, yeah, the mission of BlackFacts.com, we say that we are, we are on a mission from our ancestors to protect the future of Black history. And we do that by um, putting it on a technology platform that we created, we control, you know, we own it. Um, so we are not um, able to be silenced by folks who would prefer that certain, you know, unhappy things around history that, um, you, know, you know, we think we need to just acknowledge and understand and learn from and learn to do better. Um, you know, but then there are other other folks who want to not have that information out there. So we kind of view ourselves as as um, making sure that the stories of um, actually various um, historically silenced uh, groups um, get told. You know, we've been putting out Black history online since 1997, and a couple of years ago started doing videos. So our first video series were on black history heroes. Then we um, did one on black women in history. We did a 40 episode series on black LGBTQ pioneers. Um, we also have uh, Caribbean uh, revolutionaries, Afro-Latino folks at um, end of last year. We did a um, series for Native American History Month, and you know, and we're, we're we have several other groups that we're looking to collect and tell stories for um, on them, um, and the focus is to get as much of this into the school system so that um, people, wherever you're from, you know, whatever your background is, whatever station in life you are, when well, when you find out about other people's stories, you realize that we have so much more in common than the things that we are we are taught to use to divide us. And, and we believe that um, you know sharing these stories is is a great great way to build a better future. And so. you've always been uh, ahead of technology, especially with Black Facts starting uh, in the '90s. How important is technology? to get these messages out? Um, I think it is uniquely important because when used intentionally and, 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 um, and with a mindset towards um, sharing information, technology is probably like the most democratizing tool that the human race has ever had. Um, you know, it, Technology works the same no matter who's running it, no matter who you are, no matter what, how much money you have or don't have, as long as you can get it. And especially in today's world with networks that have people connected all over the place um, and services like some folks that you know, we're, we're doing a promotion with starting this month um, in New York uh, called, called Link NYC, where they, in addition to providing information on the streets of New York, they actually have uh, free Wi-Fi and and charging stations. They saved my butt um, <laughs> <laughs> um, last week when, when um, I ran out of juice and and I actually charge charged my phone up. Yeah, yeah. So so in places that don't have where people have aren't able able to afford internet at home because they're in residential areas as well as commercial, um, they're actually providing. Uh, free Wi-Fi. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Even more amazing if you're a little younger than us and you're you're a, a kid in school who yeah. doesn't, you know, who doesn't have internet. Right. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah, it just totally changes things for folks. So yeah, so we're very yeah, we're, we're, we're bullish on technology. <laughs> <laughs> And, and speaking and, of uh, technology, I saw a lot of your stuff on on LinkedIn about the new uh, billboards uh, in New York City about black facts. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Um, yes. Like, yeah, this is in in conjunction with um, an, a company called Link NYC. 
Um, and in New York City, and I think some other um, cities also, they have these kiosks. They're two big 55-inch uh, screens that will give you information about the buses, the trains, the weather, the sports scores, some local news. But this month, um, they also have Today in Black History, um, courtesy of BlackFacts.com. And so, yeah, so... You know, so yeah, we're 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 pretty geeked about that. <laughs> How was it seeing it for uh, the first time? Uh, it was pretty exciting because there's one about a few blocks, you know, from from home, and I've I've I'm I'm in the Bedford Stuyvesant neighborhood of Brooklyn, and I've caught them in Bed Stuy in downtown Brooklyn and in Harlem so far. I'm I'm going to their Black History Month event um, in Manhattan, like on 30th Street, I'm going to look up where's the Link NYC uh, kiosk and try to capture it on, on my way there or back. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And, and in fact, I just I'm standing there um, with, with the tripod, you know, people, some people say, what are you doing? And actually, one uh, one day someone asked and I said, oh, I'm waiting to see. Because of course I'm wearing my you know my swag, yeah. uh, you know, and I'm waiting <laughs> to see my my uh, thing come up on the kiosk. <laughs> so that was, yeah, it's it's kind of cool to you know to feel like uh, you know a lot so that what we're doing is finally um, being presented in a wider audience. Yeah, and then with with a lot of your stuff. Uh, I mean, it's great for uh, kids learning. What are you doing with the uh, education route of getting it to younger people? Right. Well, we because Black Facts was originally started not as a business, but as a passion project. Um, again, back in 1997, the Internet was just starting to seep into the you know world of non-nerds. And, <laughs> and, you know, a lot of Black Americans started hearing about it. And because it's such a level playing field, you know, we said, hey, let's try to make sure that folks view this as not something for other folks to do. Oh, we don't do that, which happens sometimes with, with different kind of cutting edge things. And so we said, well, let's put Black history on there. So it wasn't until we... Um, in the past year or so, honestly, that we stumbled on the fact that a lot of educators, especially urban educators, are looking for Black history content, hard to find, spending a lot of time, you know, getting things together. And we have sort of a one-stop shop for it. So we've been pushing um, with, with, you know, to get into the schools with something we call Black Facts for Schools, which is basically a special web um, um, experience for teachers where they can search our videos, they can download them, they can, you know, click a button to copy the, the link and, and put it into a presentation or a, a document. Um, one of the things that is, is getting a whole lot of buzz these days are some of the um, AI driven, um, um, like chat GPT and things like that. Yeah. And something that we've found that those tools are really, really good for is generating questions, like for quizzes. So all of our videos have scripts. And so we fed one of the scripts um, to it and said, hey, come up with 10 questions and answers. And it did an excellent job. Oh, wow. And so we're going to be adding features to the teacher's system to, to say, okay, if you, if you wanna you know, add, uh, put together a class on this topic, here, you know, here's some questions or writing exercises, et cetera, you know, to really just save the teachers time, make their lives easier. You know, they're on the front lines. Yeah. Dealing with all manner of things. You know, our future is in their hands. <laughs> so to whatever extent we can we can make their job easier. Um, that's what we're here for. I didn't, that's a good point. I didn't even think of the chat uh, GPT yeah. being good for, you know, for teachers. Yes. Yes. Um, with these systems, 
if you ask it questions that it doesn't know about, they tend to make things up. But if you give it the information and and say, hey, I want you to write this, you know, in this format or in this 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 for this purpose, those tools are really excellent for that. Yeah. So what motivates you? What motivates me? A lot of what motivates me, Michael, is the fact that, um, you know, being born at the time and place and, you know, and into a family that we never had much, but I was, I was able to um, chase after my interests and, and, and educational pursuits. Um, you know, I realized that, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't get, you know, like like the golden ticket, but I, I had a pretty good deal compared to a lot of folks who were frankly, you know, might live on my block. Right. Um and you know, so you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to learn how to use technology to, you know, kind of create things that that can share good news about what's happened in the past and um, hopefully inspire folks in the future. And what inspires me, what drives me is that, um, you know, I understand that the many freedoms and privileges that I take for granted, um, I only have because other folks, you know, rolled up their sleeves, got their fingers dirty, got their heads bashed in in some cases right. and did the hard work. And so, the work that we're doing is like child's play compared to, you know, what, what we would have had to do, um, you know, 50, 60 years ago. So, you know, I'm, I, I kind of feel like we're walking in the footsteps of um, people that we celebrate during Black History Month, you know, uh, like scholars like W.E.B. Du Bois, um, you know, Carter G. Woodson, who started um, Black History Month, you know, so we kind of feel like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I think at a certain level, if we have an opportunity to do things that we feel matter, that is a benefit in itself. Um, and, and whether or not, you know, you make a whole bunch of money, you know, so many right. folks are into the idea of, of, you know, being rich and famous, but I, I have a funny feeling that, you know, in the, in the twilight of most of our years, those things are not as important as, you know, yeah. did I, did I leave things better than I found? Them? <laughs> you know? So, so yeah, we're, 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 we're excited. I mean, and I'm just a nerd, so I love doing <laughs> tech. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I've been, uh, I mean, I'm also a nerd more so with videos. I've been doing, mm -hmm. you know, broadcast stuff since I was yeah. 16 years old. And with blackfacts.com, you guys have so many videos and, and tell great stories. How is it with, you know, the movement of technology makes it easier to tell these stories? It absolutely does make it easier to tell the stories. I mean, um, you know, we, we actually have an outside, you know, outside companies that make them. So, you know, you know, you know we're, we're, we're like the programming kind of folks, yeah. not, not, <laughs> not the video production and understanding how to put things together. But I mean, honestly, with the power that comes to produce things like on phones and stuff, yeah. some of the things that we envision in the future are making it possible for regular people to create their own videos and tell their own stories that we can start stitching together with some of the same you know, content processing engines that we use right now. So yes, I, I really think that there's a this incredible potential for for telling stories. Um, you know, without, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm, I remember back when there were three TV stations, kind right. of thing. And you know, and now like anybody can broadcast. You know whatever you want and it's 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 amazing and i'm hoping that we can make it fun and interesting and cool to tell stories that matter yeah rather than hey it's what i had for lunch today <laughs> yes 
that, that's what a lot of people think is social media. But like you said, the more important thing is it gives a lot of people a voice, especially nonprofits and people are doing uh, great things. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and again, you know, like just like with the teachers, you know, our nonprofits, our journalists, you know, these are the, the people who are the boots on the ground, you know, pushing, pushing against the forces of ignorance and stagnation and racism yeah. and oppression and all, all those sort of things. And we are hoping that what we can do is help come up with technology solutions because that's our lane. That's what we do. Um, you know, that can help empower them, magnify, amplify their voices and, um, and together, you know, we can, we can push the human race a little, a little further in the right direction. 